We are ready to begin, and we are so pleased you're here. We've waited for you your entire lives. Now, we say that all the time, but today you will understand more. We know that each time you hear us, you get a little bit more. You get closer to accepting what we're giving you because you're coming closer to accepting who you are. This is why we planned this for today, and we wanted you all to give up struggling. And what we mean by that is that you have struggled to become who you're meant to be in this lifetime. You have chosen a very dynamic lifetime to live and that was for a reason for a purpose because if you offer your energy your light your love of who you are then you help your planet's ascension because that is what is occurring your planet is ascending now this happens for you as individuals but you've never experienced a world your planet ascending now we're just talking about the earth because there's much more in the universe that you don't need to understand at this point if that's unless that's part of your journey this time however for most of you and we know that most of you who would be hearing us it is about your lifetime this time this particular incarnation because you've had many as we've said before and we know this is challenging for you to accept but you've uh your eternal spirit so you've always existed but you choose particular lifetimes, incarnations in physical form so that you can expand your soul. That is what you're doing. Now, we've also said that it doesn't matter what age you are. You, you humans get hung up in, in, in your chronological age, which has nothing to do with your evolutionary journey, which is why we've used Roger, because he's coming about now with this information because it was part of his evolutionary journey. As we've said many times, he knows, he's quite aware that he went through all of the human physical things that many of you struggle with earlier on in his life so that he could be a much more clear channel now to bring this information forth because you're moving through a dynamic time. Now you will wonder, and we've talked about time before because we know that humans have difficulty with linear, with, with understanding um, that you use linear time to just navigate your earthly experience. However, that's not real. It's just an illusion, but you use it to keep track of things, which is why we've been giving you our messages of late in 10 year sync increments because it's we wanted you to understand we knew where you would be today it wasn't accidental that this would be a full moon in leo and roger has a leo a full moon of his astrology chart when you look at your we we know not all of you look at these things but you are connected energetically and it's to the planets the stars however you think of it but you're connected energetically and it affects your bodies your lives and your world. You're all going to the same place, you see. You're trying to create a better world because that's oneness that you're all seeking to. This time, what you're trying to do, you're attempting to do is move beyond duality. Duality means where you see others as separate from you, where you see others as being different. And you do that in many different ways. Sometimes you do it where you place yourselves lower than others, that's duality because that's never true. Or then you try to place yourself higher than others because you think that will cause you to ascend to some place that is not real for you. That doesn't matter. What you are doing is owning your life journey. Now, you have different life paths. What we have given you, we've said we've given you an ascension guide. That is the program that we gave you. It was a guide to your ascension. And if you've noticed, what we gave you was a way to re remove all the limited, lower dimensional um, thoughts that you've been carrying. Now, those were purposeful, though. You needed those because you couldn't expand. You couldn't have your soul expand unless you experienced all those lower, darker energies and the things that you call your problems, your difficulties, your challenges, all of those you chose. Now, that's that's challenging for many of you to accept. However, if you did, you would be a little bit lighter on yourselves. You wouldn't judge yourself so, so much for not having moved because many of you feel that I haven't done what I was supposed to do yet. That's okay, because now you're supposed to. This is why it's time for you to give up the struggling. That's why we called it this day. Roger didn't know why we were naming it that. And also we will say to you that we had him program all the messages for this week days in advance. How could he have done that? It's because he's not limited by linear time because he has us. He's been receiving us in this manner for a long time. Now, you each can do that, but it may not be part of what your life path is now. 
because you all have different jobs to do. And that's what we call it, jobs. It's a mission that you accepted and it's valuable. There's not a single one of you who does not possess this valuable, incredible purpose and mission that you were given to fulfill and the energy of you fulfilling that will cause your world to become so much better because now you're going to start accepting other people. Now you're going to start stop seeing differences and putting others down because you want to feel better. You're going to know that you are already better, that you're already connected to source, to God, to whatever word, idea that you use to think of infinite intelligence because you all have it. Now, that's the reason that we gave you infinite intelligence on January 1st of 2012. Yes, we were using dates because it's easier for you to take uh, keep track of the trajectory that you have been on in your life, but your world has been on the same one. Your world has been on this trajectory. It's all connected. And your planet is attempting to move to another dimension. We're going to talk about dimensions a little bit because you don't understand that you each have them. You're multidimensional beings and you choose which dimension you're going to focus upon. And when you do that, you create a different kind of reality for yourself. You're always creating it. Now, we knew that you wouldn't understand what was happening, which is why we gave you this message. As we've said, the message that you see on the board, this was in 2013. Well, now we began in 2012 with this particular uh, book of ideas and philosophy that we're giving you. However, we knew that you wouldn't have moved because again, we're not limited by your linear time. We can see beyond. We can see everything. We can see the, the, the future and we can see the past now. And the reason we get so animated is because that future is not quite yet what we want it to be. Now it's going to come there eventually, but you could make it a little more challenging and difficult if you do not own who you are. That's been the only thing that we wanted you to understand is how important you are. Everything that you've moved through in your life, every experience you've had has been valuable. And when you extract the value from that, so do you become valuable. And that is what we wanted you all to do and why we wanted you to give up the struggling. Because see, the struggling causes you to, to suffer in so many ways. It causes you not to use the things of this physical dimension, this three-dimensional planning to your benefit. And that is the finances, the money, the abundance, the love. Love, all of those things are what you're meant to experience because you're supposed to have beautiful lives and you will when you start letting go more of the old stuff. Now, we're saying this because this is a generational shift that you're all moving through. And this is why it's been so challenging. This is why you're seeing all the global events. All of you will not look at things in the same way. Roger looks at all the global events because he knows that that is what gives him a barometer, so to speak, to know how much he's going to awaken to who he's supposed to be at this time to help more of you do the same thing. And we're so pleased that it's finally starting to happen. You think that things are happening accidentally in your lives and they never are. You're, you're finding things, many of you have found recently, you're you're meeting new people, you're, you're finding things that have changed. You're, maybe some of you have felt like you needed to move somewhere. Some of you have left your, your former jobs because you knew that wasn't where you were supposed to be. That is ascension and you're all doing it now. This is why we gave you the message. If you see it on our, on our, on our, um, um, any advice for today on that channel, you'll see the most important day for your ascension is today. It's because the, the confluence of all the energies and planets that are happening on this day, and we got out a little bit ahead of it, however, because we wanted Roger to put this information out earlier, because some of it will be a little dynamic, because you have a lot of energies happening. When you have many energies coming in all together, humans get a little upset and, and frightened. We don't want you to be frightened. Everything is going in the right direction when you start to love yourself. We'll keep saying that, because that's the only intention that we ever had, was to cause you to work through all your old barriers, because because you brought them in, and we want you to understand this, even though you, some of you can't accept it, but just, just imagine that the thing that you're struggling with now in your life is something that you agreed to move through because your ancestors couldn't do it, or some other being in your evolutionary um, role, um, path, didn't, didn't accomplish what you can now. That's why it's a little challenging. But if you keep stepping forward a little bit at a time, then you move through it, which is why we set up our work in the way that we did. We knew that you we were going to use what we call your, your physical senses, your, your brains, your minds, and you've learned through your sciences now 
how your brains, your mind, your neuroscience, how it controls everything that you experience in your life. Everything that you do is due to that, which is why we started with the mind because everything comes to that. Now we use the mind to get you to understand that you are so brilliant, but you have to work through all the old stuff. You don't do that right away. But as you do, your lives become magnificent. You become happy. You become free. You become loving. That is what you're going to do. Now, and you're going to see that not everyone is going to do that. And when you look at the others that you disagree with, as we've always told you, that is a signal that you need to love more. And where you need to love more is in yourself, is who you are. It is not that you're going to go out in the world and do some big, big, big um, movement or anything, unless that's a part of your path, unless that's something that, that you love and gives you a sense of joy, then yes, that might be part of your particular journey or your mission this time. But you each have one that's different and it's unique, which is why we gave you a message the other day that you are supposed to be unique because you each start thinking that you're supposed to be someone else. And that's the first mistake or the main mistake that many of you will make early on in your lives. And that is not necessarily your fault because many times you're told that from those people who are trying to raise you who are trying to guide you which you need that you always need guides we're saying that because you you know that you always need guides and when you listen to us and you hear something that resonates it's not because roger is saying something it's because you're listening to your higher self that's all he's just triggering your higher self that you always hear, but you don't always trust. None of you do. Roger didn't trust us for the longest time, which is why he keeps talking about it, because he knows that that is what each of you have done, is not trusting what you have within you or your importance, and especially your uniqueness. That's the part that, that really troubles him the most because we keep telling him, no, you're all supposed to be these unique beings. And so when he can see someone who is not embracing who they are because of some judgment that they've, they've, they've carried, it really causes him to become upset because that's what he did. You see, that's what you all do. You will do things that and give back to others because you've experienced it, because you've lived it, or you've moved through it. That is valuable. And when you don't understand that or give yourselves the recognition, the acknowledgement of the value that you've created, you can add that to your world or your life. And your life is supposed to be magnificent. And this is why we gave you all of our work. And it was challenging for Roger to accept that that had happened. It is challenging for him to still accept that he was a mystic and a sage and he could bring this information in. It's a process. He comes into acceptance just as you will. And so he knows that what he has done is brought in something that could help shift your world because it helps shift you. And then we had him, he holds back. You all do. You all do it to certain degrees, and then people will kind of call you out. You listen to a talk or something, and that'll kind of awaken you, and you move a little bit closer. What we did was we sent him a person who is in this, nothing is accidental, a, a person who's who, who's 50 years old, just about 50 years younger than him, who has the same mind. And then they discover, oh, we have the same a, a rising sign and, and moon in our astrology charts. How did that happen? It happens because nothing's exact as accidental. And he knew that we wanted someone else to keep bringing our work forward. And so you keep all you all keep ascending. You will do different things, but they're all important. We want you to understand that what you are doing in your life, if you're loving it, if it's giving you joy, then it's important. It's what you were supposed to do, and you were supposed to do it at this time. Now, because there's a big split happening in your world, but the split is, is perfect because you're trying to get over duality. You can't move into this ex next dimension, a higher dimension of consciousness, which is all that it is. It's not a place that you go to. When you speak of this fifth dimension, as someone um, brought up to Roger the other day, saying, well, you don't know what that is. Well, of course, that person didn't know what it was because you wouldn't hold judgment. You see, when you move into a different level of awareness, of consciousness, you have no more judgment because you see the perfection of every single being. You see the perfection of yourself and you know that you came to offer something that was going to help the whole, the entire, all that is expand. Everything that we gave you in 2012, by the way, if you noticed, was about expansion, saying that that's what's what you're doing. You only expand in your consciousness. That's all because that is what you use in the physical plane to cause you to feel something. Your feelings are what the, are the most valuable because as you feel something, you move through the uncomfortable feelings, which are always old, embedded 
emotions that you wanted to release so that you could live free, so that you could be happy, so that you could have a life that you experience the abundance that you want. And you won't do that when you hold yourselves back. And in some of you use very um, um, clever ways of keeping yourself a little stuck. And that is your ego. You see, your ego will tell you that if you step outside of this place that you've known, where you've been, that something terrible is going to happen. And we're saying, no, that's exactly the opposite, because everything that you want in your life is in the unknown, because you haven't experienced it yet. But you, we knew that these drastic changes that would be happening in your life now would cause many of you to be afraid. Fear is not going to help you at this time. It is something that will only hold you back. You have to decide that you're going to move through it. There was It wasn't accidental that we had Roger write a book on fear several years ago, knowing that you were coming to this place. And then we had him do something else. And as we said, we always do this before we, we come to these talks when we do these live conversations with you because we want you to have the full impact. And so yesterday we had him listen to something just briefly and it was a it was an old film actually and and it was about someone um the king's speech and and the king was was a stutterer. He he he, he stuttered. And that triggered her memory in Roger, you see, because the, the, the person who was trying to help him said, "Oh, you developed that when you were a child." And the person argued, "No, that didn't happen." Yes, it did. You don't come born with that kind of I, um, disability. You don't come born with that. Something happened. It was in his consciousness. Now we're taking you back there because that's what you all have done. We want you to understand you develop something very early on and you can go back to your sciences now and know that it's from the early, some say it's in the womb. That is true. We do understand that because there's no separation phys physically. So it is in the womb and you start accepting certain ideas, but you also chose the experience. You see, you chose to be in that womb you and chose to come into the world exactly at the time that you did in the place because all the conditions would be be right for your evolvement, for you to ascend. And that is moving through all the old stuff. And it, look, as we said, it's different for each of you. However, there are things that you each do that hold yourselves back. And that's what we want to make you aware of. And Rogers has been money, as we've spoken of often, because see, if he could hide a little bit, <laughs> by, by keeping himself a little broke, then he doesn't have to expose who he is. Each of you have done that in different ways, but you've done it. Because when you ex become willing to embrace yourselves, then you offer the love and light that's needed in your world. And we keep saying this, and we've said it for more, more than th almost three years now, we've been writing it and trying to tell you, because when you don't move into who you're supposed to be, your world doesn't either. And you keep the conflict going on. You keep the 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 disasters as you see them. We don't see them as disasters at all, but they're just incidents, physical incidents that happen on the physical plane that cause you to awaken to your spiritual self. That's why we keep calling it, referring to it now uh, as your spiritual revolution, because that is what is happening. And you know, we started with restructuring because we thought maybe that would be the easier term for some of you to accept, but it is a spiritual um, a, a revolution because you are eternal spirits all of you. You just decide when you're going to accept that part of you at the right time in your life. The main thing that we really want you to understand is that you have to let go of your judgment. And the first thing to do is to practice a lot of forgiveness. And forgiveness is what you're trying, you, you want to really have at this time, because you're moving through things in your life that you've never experienced and you might start to judge yourself because you'll think oh I'm just a little crazy I don't understand what's happening to me I this is not, no it's all quite perfect and this is why we've been we had Roger even go out and, and write that the other day because we wanted to for more of you to release these judgments that you've placed on yourselves by how you think you are Oh, I'm just a little crazy. I'm just a little off. None of that is ever true. Every single human born has purpose and worth to offer the world. It's just that your classifications and your labels that you've been used to using, which are old, by the way, and that's why you're trying to get rid of them now. But all of those labels is what have kept you stuck in a world that you don't like very much, that doesn't feel comfortable, that doesn't feel wonderful and loving. But that's why you're here. It's not accidental that you exist at this time because you are 
are that important, every single one of you. And this is what all, everything that we've said up until this point, and we made this day so incredibly dynamic because we want more of you to move forward now. And we had Roger get out of his way, and we want more of you to hear this. We had him get out of his way and do something that was uncomfortable by going to a, a meeting where he had to meet people, where he had to put himself out there. Each of you have something like that in your life, something that you've been resisting, that you haven't talked to that person, that you haven't put yourself there, or you haven't owned something within you. This is it. This is not a judgment. This is just an awareness because you will develop incrementally, as we've always said, you will develop the courage. And this is the time to develop the courage to become yourself. That's all. You are such powerful beings when you understand what you've been given. And this is everything that we've given you is a way to extract that, a way to understand that everything you experience was in your life, that you many much much of the stuff that you've judged as being horrible were gifts because you move through something that now you can give back to your world. You can give back to all others so other people don't have to experience that. So others that come behind you do not have to experience that. Many of you relate to this when you speak about your children because you know that you're, you're giving a particular example to them and that's closer to you so you can relate to that. However, you're doing that for humankind, which is why we had Roger change his website. We want him to say to all of you, you are a gift you to humankind. We hope you hear that because you are. You are a gift to humankind. Everything that you came with, everything that you've moved through, everything that you've accomplished, everything that you failed at, those are the great ones. Because when you fail at something, you gained knowledge and wisdom that you can now give back to others. And then if you were to harness that wisdom and knowledge and monetize it in some way, as we said many times, you would have this brilliant life which is what we keep pushing Roger to do because he's never wanted to earn a, a, a living on what we have done with him. He never did that. That's why he kept hiding out. But now it's a different time and he has to move as you all do because otherwise your world doesn't change. You are so important to the future of your world. And it depends on what you decide to do now, what you decide to do in each and every moment. Moment. This is why we gave you that message. It is your moment of now. And we knew that you would be trying to figure out everything and say, why is all of this happening? And we said, just please let go of that and start to meditate. <laughs> just start to listen a little bit more and let go of your resistance and your barriers, because that's all that they are. You all have resistance. And Roger said so many of them, which is why we, we have him talk about them, because he's no longer ashamed of them which was a big one to move through. Um, and many of you have that. You have shame, embarrassment, and guilt, and all of these um, energies that you need to move through because the, the shame is is totally, it, it, it's something that causes you to become aware of a limitation that you've placed on yourself and something that you wanted to move through because it was holding you back. And probably and more likely, especially during this time, it's something that you brought in from all the others who lived before you, all your your, your ancestors, your evolutionary, your, whoever is on your particular path, because they're different for each of you. And the other thing that you're doing at this time is that you're starting to get rid of more of your divisions. And those divisions have become, have been gender, have been race, have been all of those things. And as we said, the incidents that you've had in the United States, we said the United States would lead the way in this restructuring, and you're seeing so much evidence of that now. And it's still in 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 in, in flux, let's say. And the Chinese bloom that you all were looking at, that wasn't accidental. It's about to become awareness, and you're all going to decide what are we going to do about that? You're going to energetically decide how you're going to change things. And when you start to love yourselves, you change the world. That's true. We want you to hear that when you love yourself, you change the world. It, there's no difference. You're in your world. Everything is energy and you hold it. You hold just as much as any other being on the planet, but you don't always accept it. And we've said that that you could, you could one person could change your world. First of all, you have to look at what is happening. You see certain people in power who are controlling so much of your world. That's not the way you're going to be. And you're moving into a world now, and you can call it age of Aquarius, fifth dimension, all of that, but it is one where you're going to love yourselves more, where you're going to love others more, and it's going to be a very different world where you won't need to have wars anymore. And we told you like almost three years ago that you might have a war unless you awaken to who you were because that's a collective energy. It's not just one person. It's a collective energy. And it doesn't matter what your politicians are doing. Your politicians have no control over what's going to happen in this universe because they're operating 
on energy as well. And if they're putting in lower vibrational energies, they are going to reach their demise and because they're going to have an awakening. But if they're putting in energies of light and love and something that's going to be for the good of all, all that is, then they're going to succeed because that's the change that's happening. And they have nothing to do with that. It's a universal galactic change and it's in the stars, in the planets, in the universe, or however you want to think of it, but it is there. And each of you will awaken to some more aspects of who you are. And it's going to be wonderful as you start to do that. And it's a process, again, because you have to do it incrementally. This is why you have the example in Roger. He sat every single day and started to do this. Now we will say, he will tell you, that there were times where he tried to get away from it. And we've talked to him about it. We said, why are you not listening to us? Why aren't you taking the time to be with yourself? What are you afraid that you're going to find? What do you think is in there? We're saying this to each of you because that's what happens. You become afraid to stay quiet and you have trouble with your with meditating or getting into places because you don't want to be with yourself. Everything we're giving you to let go of the judgment that you've had on yourself. You're in physical bodies only for a particular time. And so now is the time that you wanted to enjoy this life. And you enjoy this life when you stop struggling. And the way that you stop struggling is stop denying who you are. That's all that it is. And you do, you, and you do that by, by day by day, moment by moment, moving through your self-judgment. That's really it, the self-judgment. And you can notice it. And, and when you start thinking about mindfulness, that will give you a, a, a great clue. Now, when Roger saw the person, the, the, the person who was stuttering, it reminded him of his grandmother. And we've spoken of his grandmother before because she was the one who was playing with his thermostat, you see, because she was a spirit that he was connected to. We're saying this because you each will have these instances or people in your lives that you know you have this connection to because they're guides. They could be your family. They could be those people. They're guides and you connect to them because you are each in different levels or aware. Uh, 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 different levels of awareness, let's say, different levels of consciousness. And so those who have um, come to move things forward in a different way, and Roger's grandmother was one of those because she had a great awareness and they all knew it. He And he just judged himself because he couldn't live up to that. Many of you have done that as well, and you have to let that go because you're supposed to live up to you. It's not the idea of what someone else could do. They serve as an example. They are just an, a teacher for you but you are also a leader and you're a leader in your life. And that's what you're supposed to step up to now. And we're saying supposed to, because you would not be alive on the planet at this time, unless that were true. And what it is, is meaning to continually work through your doubts, your fears, your judgments, and start to love yourself and feel good. That's the main thing. And you've, many of you have been talked out of feeling good and you have no joy and you've forgotten the joy that even you might have had in, when you were younger, but many of you know you can't even remember that, which is why we have you go back and find the great stuff and keep implanting that into your brains. You will create your realities through your brains, your human brains, and that's the neuroscience, as we've said, that you've all discovered. But now it's different because you have the quantum sciences and the quantum sciences I've told you how you create your personal reality and how your personal reality is the same as your world because it's all energetic, you see. There's nothing more than energy. And that's why we're talking about your, your money, your finances, your abundance, your love, all of those. It's all energetic. And you have control over that. You have control over all of it because you just have to decide that you're going to take that control and use it. And sometimes it's uncomfortable because the many of the uncomfortable, painful things that you have experienced, not all of them are your fault. Some of them, you've, like we said, you've carried in from before. But now this is the dynamic time that you wanted to let them go because then you will start to live this beautiful life that will give back to your world. And we're gonna talk about all the, there are gonna be many other events that you're gonna see coming up and they're very present now, but you have time over these next couple of months to really kind of help shift things, you see, because then astrologically speaking, there, there are planets that are clear and free because many times you have these blockages into your communication and all of that, but that's not happening right now. So you have a great opportunity to move everything forward in your life and also aid your world in doing the same thing because you're going to see a little more conflict and things that are happening that you will not understand as we've said but when you 
decide that you're going to take the time to work on yourself, to begin your meditation, to just not have to worry, to just let go and see what comes through, you will access this higher consciousness that is within each of you, because you have it. And this is the only, uh, this is all that we wanted you to understand, and all we wanted you to awaken to was the brilliance of who you are. Everything that we have given you is to that point. And we had to get Roger to accept this because he's been holding it back to, a, to some degree, and he hasn't been focused. Many of you have done that. Because if you can distract yourself, we've given you many messages over the years on distractions. Distractions are things that you put in your way so that you can't really see your real purpose or because you don't believe you can do it or you don't think you're enough or whatever it might be, it doesn't matter. But you create distractions and he's done that and he's a great example for it, but now he can no longer do that. And so he's gonna have to focus all of his attention on the work that we have given him because that's what he came to bring forth. And we had the wonderful example the other day when he when he was pulled out of a of something that he said when he, he admitted more than a year ago that he was re, a reluctant mystic and someone heard that and came and met with him and now is in our work and doing our program because she was the same way you will find that in your lives as you start acknowledging what you have held back or what you didn't believe about yourself someone will hear you and that will help them you help others. You're, it's a collaborative universe that you live in and collaborative world, especially now. You're not all doing the same thing, but there are clumps of you, we'll say, that come together at a particular time to help uplift the planet. This has gone on forever. This is not new. You're changing your society. You're changing your civilization. And so this is big. So yes, it seems scary and all chaotic at times because you're the, the difference is, and you, you'll see that you'll just know if you're doing this in your life. The challenge that you all have now is trying to hold on to something that was old that no longer serves the expansion of your world. And you're trying to look and see that future, which was what we gave you on December 21st, December 31st of 2012, your future. You're creating it now, all of you. And it's energetic again, as we've said. So right now, what's happening is you're deciding whether you're going to let go of the lower stuff and go to the light. This is why we gave you the message on Ascension in 2013, because we knew you want, would understand it more now. As you do that in your life, you help your world. You help your world to ascend to that next level of being. And that is what is happening now. But you're going to have to move through some other hurdles. And those hurdles you're going to see in your exterior, some of you who watch things that happen in your world, and when you see them and you notice them, then you need to uplift. Now, the reason we brought this up before, and we're going to bring it back again, because um, it's, it's, it's new for some of you, but there were, um, we said the United States would lead the way, because as we've explained, many of the old messages, when they first founded their, their country, they had the ideals that they set forth of what they were going to do, and that was about equality for all. And then over time, those ideals did not come about. They were not living. There were so many contradictions, and you have those contradictions within you. That's the contradictions that you're to heal now. A contradiction is when you think, I am not as good as someone else, but you come from source and God. So how could that be true? That's a contradiction. You have them all over the place, and your world has them as well. And this is the time that you're meant to look at them and move through them. And so, when, um, as we've said, the United States went through what is called in your astrology a Pluto return, which may be changed now, but that's what it was. But it was a time where you could measure things again in linear time, where you see there's a time for a reckoning. That means looking at what you claimed you were going to do and then haven't done it and deciding to make changes. That's what's happening. It's going to take another year or more, as we've told you. That's what's going on now. But that is what you're doing in your life. You ha you're having a reckoning. What haven't I done that I said I was going to do that I agreed to? Because you all did at some point. You, you have no conscious memory of that, but you did. And so the life that you're living is that that you chose because it would give you the best opportunity to ascend, to have your soul expand and evolve and as you do that you add that to your world and that's why you're here so all of these things that we are saying to you are to get you to awaken to your importance in the world now because it is dynamic it is so magnificent and we want you to be so happy we want you to love yourself we want you to feel th this abundance that you have not experienced ever in your lives because it, you didn't have the opportunity but now you do 
And that is the time that you're in now. And again, we use, we really want you to pay attention because many of you have missed this. And you, if you go back and hear our older videos, the earliest ones you could find, you can see that we did give you this information, but you don't always hear it. And many of you will not even listen or you don't even read what we're saying because you live in a society now where you're used to just like going from place to place and, and just ev everything and you never get focused. Now it's time to focus. This is why we gave you this. And we had Roger too, because we wanted to really explain this. We had him change the name of our work to your last development program. Because see, you each keep moving around thinking that there's going to be something else out there that's going to help you achieve the life that you want to have instead of recognizing that it's all within you. And all you have to do is just keep working on letting go of your limitations and restrictions. And you've seen that's all that we've given you. That's all that we've given you. And those who have done it are in a completely different place in their lives now, are completely, and the person that Roger brought in to that, 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 that when he said the reluctant mystic, now she has a website. Now, yesterday they were planning that. They were looking at it and saying, oh, what can I do? Because now she's been given permission. You have to give yourself permission to be yourself. And as you do that, you're going to help so many other people because that's how ascension works. That's how evolution works. And you're all evolving. You're just doing it in a grand way right now. And this is why you decided to be alive. And we are so happy that we're able to give you this information that can cause you to accept and love yourselves more. And we're going to continue to do that because as we've said, you're not complete. You're not there yet. Now, Roger knows that he's complete in this particular, his life journey of what he meant to move through. And he's done all of that. So now he has to shift so he can prosper and give this work to others to carry it on. You have to face your reality of knowing that you have limitations that you've created. None of the limitations are real, but you have them. They're just inbred in, 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 bred in your societies about how long you can live. But there's certain realistic things there. But none of you leave your physical bodies until you're done, until you're ready, until, you, until you're finished with whatever you came to offer. And so you have to let go of the judgment also of those who have left, because many people will continue to leave um, because they, they've they done what they came to do, but you're still here. And so that may cause you some grief and in, in all of that, as we've said, but that's purposeful because you're letting go of that grief from the collective um, energy, the collective unconscious, which has been in fear. So you'll let go of that. But now is the time, again, that you are meant to love who you are and bring that to the world, whatever it is that you do, whatever thing that is in front of you. And again, some of you may change. We, we want to say this. Some of you may go into other areas that you had not done that because you were, might have been afraid or didn't think you could do it or what. This is the time to let go of that and start doing it. This is why we're pushing Roger. He has to change everything because he knows what he has. And now he has a team where he can help. And then we sent him a, a new business manager who can now help really do this in the right way. And we gave you a message on this in 2012. And we want you to hear it because it's in the work. It's asking for help is probably one of the most courageous things you can do. Sometimes you think that if you ask for help that you're a weakling. No, you're not supposed to know everything. You're not supposed to do everything. You're supposed to do your part, but your collaborative, collective, in civilization and you're supposed to help one another and you do that with offering the wisdom and knowledge that you have and then others will do the same for you that's how it is he roger knows that he has to he has to be stimulated by things that he sees and listens to others that brings this information forth but he has a wealth of ancient wisdom and knowledge as we've said before and but it was challenging for him to accept that he couldn't explain why he knew certain things he couldn't explain why he could write things that we had given him years ago that he did not understand you each have done that you each have things you don't understand but it's there and you just have to accept it you have vast abilities and information and intelligence you all do but again it's just breaking down the resistance so we never want you to judge yourself for not being there yet because that's what many of you have done i haven't gotten there yet well, you're never going to get there because you're never finished your eternal spirits. So we want you to start enjoying this time because that energy is going to help your world in ways that you cannot imagine at this time. But we will continue to give you more because that's what we love doing because we just, so many of you are beginning to awaken and, and love yourselves and making great changes and we couldn't be more pleased. And that is the only reason that we have done this and, it was, and, and that we had to keep pushing Roger because it was a challenge for him as it's been a challenging for you to love every aspect of yourself. But we're not giving up until we get to that place where you do that.
So we have given you so much now, and we would love to hear if there are any questions, any further clarification from any of you that you would like, please let us know. You do have the ability to unmute. Oh, let's see. There may be thoughts we haven't brought into the room. Let's just see. Okay. Oh, Gail. Okay. There's Gail. Okay. Uh, if any of you have questions or anything you want to say, you do. I've moved you into the room. Now you do have the ability to unmute. If you have a question or something you would like to ask, please do that. And again, we might have given you so much because we did have Roger go to fair. It was, um, um, it'll take a moment for him to settle into. But if, if there's anything else, or you can type a question if you have that. Great. Well, maybe we've done our, maybe we've done our best. Maybe we've done our best. This was, uh, wow. Okay. Hmm. We we will we will leave with this. We will leave with this because we, we we have what we want to give you now. Um, as you look at your lives, as you look at your individual lives, and you look at the things that you've moved through, and you start to judge yourselves, we want you to remember what we're saying. You chose that because you wanted to be great. You chose that because you wanted to be great, and now is your opportunity. And all you have to do is let go of your judgment of what you chose and start to move into the love of who you can be and actually start to manifest that in your life and then in your world. That will be your greatest service to yourself and your planet, especially at this time. And we know that you can do that. And all we want is for you to love who you are and every aspect of your life has and always will be perfect. We love you very much. Okay. Thank you, Roger. Uh, thank you. This is great. Alrighty, everyone. I will. Uh, we'll get this edited and we'll send it out to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Good night. <laughs> it's uh, nearly. It's nearly one o'clock here. In the oh, morning. great. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Okay. Yeah. See, you see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.